problem is, is I fell asleep. I fell asleep. When did you do CPR? This morning, when I found it. Before you called? Yes! It's one o'clock right now. I tried, I was awake, but I actually got out of the bed at like 12.30ish, whatever. So I came downstairs and I was like, oh, he's in the suitcase still. On the docket tonight, one of the most bizarre cases in, in the history of court TV involving a suitcase, because usually there are body parts of a victim that are severed and found in suitcases um, that are discarded by the killer. In this case, the suitcase is the alleged murder weapon. Here's the story of Sarah Boone. 911, what is the location of the emergency? It's Monday, February 24th. There's a crisis at the home of Sarah Boone prompting her to call 911. Is this a police or medical? My boyfriend is dead. Okay, send the line for the fire department. Do not hang up. The fire department takes over the call. And for the next few minutes, officials are obtaining critical details about what happened. Now tell me exactly what happened there. Uh, my boyfriend and I were playing last night, and mm -hmm. I put him in a case when we were playing. And okay. like kind of hide and seek kind of thing. So I fell asleep, and I woke up, and he was dead in the suitcase. So I don't know what happened. OK, is he hanging from somewhere or what, ma'am? No, I pulled him out of the suitcase. I tried giving him CPR. Fire and rescue instruct Boone on how to give chest compressions. Just keep on pumping. That's all you need to do for me. Keep on pumping his chest for me. That's, I don't need you to stop and talk or anything. I just want you to count out loud for me, okay? 31. 32. Please hurry. Okay, man, they're getting there as fast as they can, okay? He's deaf and he's purple. EMS arrived within minutes and advised Boone that her boyfriend, Jorge Torres, had been down too long and there was nothing more they could do. Boone explained she and Torres were drinking the night before and thought it would be funny if he got inside of a suitcase for a game of hide and seek. The next day, deputies returned and arrested Boone and charged her with second degree murder in Torres's death. Boone's story about a childhood game gone awry unraveled when investigators say they found video on her cell phone showing Boone taunting and laughing at Torres while he was struggling to get out of the suitcase. I can't breathe, babe. Oh, that's what Sarah. I feel like when he's chewing on me. Sarah, I can't you. breathe, Sarah. Yeah. You should probably shut the Sarah. When police questioned Boone the next morning, she seemed to have no memory of that happening. I fell asleep, so I don't know if he suffocated her, like had an aneurysm or a heart attack or what. Boone told investigators she only realized her boyfriend was still in the suitcase when she woke up. Still, investigators say her actions add up to murder. Sarah Boone has pleaded not guilty and maintains her innocence. All right, take a look, folks. Big hearing this Friday in Florida versus Sarah Boone. And what's the subject matter of this hearing? Well, once again, Sarah Boone having some trouble with her representation. She's been through uh, five attorneys. Here's what her sixth attorney has said in his motion to withdraw. The defendant will not be satisfied with any attorney unless said attorney does not have a caseload and can dedicate his or her time solely to Ms. Boone's case. The best possible avenue is to have the defendant represent, represent herself as no attorney can satisfy her. All right, let's bring back in our think tank. Anyone want the case? No. No Hard, one wants hard it. pass. So we've all been there. We've all been there with a client that we just don't want to represent. But we have a duty not to badmouth the client, right? Not to taint the court system. I just want out, Judge. Trust me. If you, if you think I have a good reputation, you know why I want out. But I don't have to say it. I mean, spelling it out... That's a little over the top to me, but he's saying what we're all thinking. And probably the five prior lawyers have written stuff that's similar, so he's just adding to the same song. Well, how like, much time is a client entitled to? How much what? What's time wrong? of their attorney? That's, I agree with her. You want you your have lawyer... to zealously represent. Yeah, it's right. But she wants more yes. time. No, th th listen, we all. I'm sorry, because we've all had clients that say we don't give enough time, and we have to just do what's necessary. 
And that's important for us to define, not is that, the is that an hour a week, two hours no. a week? There's, not, there's nothing wrong with her wanting a lawyer full time. I mean, everyone wants, the more time a lawyer can spend on your case, the better your chances are of success. So there's nothing wrong with her wanting that. The question is... Well, she's getting a free one. Right, that's the question. How much time does she get when we're all paying for it? You and, get enough time to do a good job. And right? really, that's the it. judge is concerned about moving the business and closing the case. And I'm kind of surprised that the judge hasn't taken a more stern uh, position. I suspect it's because of what lawyers have written the judge and said, hey, this isn't like a normal person complaining about a lawyer. This is a really extreme set of circumstances. But at some point... A judge is going to try that case, lawyer or not. And this is going to, this is not, the defense here, we believe, is going to be some form of, like, battered woman syndrome, something like that. Listen, I'm going to be on your side on this one. Good luck. Yeah, I, I don't Good think luck. she's got much luck, but there's going to be a defense presented that she was the victim of some alleged there's beatings and domestic no violence. Way. And the accident, and she passed out, and she was asleep, and who would have thought that someone's going to suffocate the inside video. of a suitcase? I mean, yeah, yeah the video kills it. Yeah, yeah. It kills she, it. Well... Let me ask you this: How how many how many different defenses is is, is, a, is someone entitled to? Because first she said they were playing hide and seek, then you see the video and she's taunting him, um, then she says she doesn't remember, and now it's battered women. Listen, we can well, have five thousand yeah. defenses. You got twelve jurors. Should the jury know about all the prior ones? No, uh, we can do, we can, the, the prosecution has that burden of proof. Remember, it, we're just the guy throwing the, the arrows to see what sticks, so we can do forty-two. And you need one juror to buy one of the defenses. Yep. So you guys have no obligation to the truth. Yeah. Oh, no, on. we have an obligation to clients. Come and by on. the way, uh, th this segment's brought to you by Don't Talk to the Police. <laughs> Come on. But she has to call the police. I mean, she didn't call them initially. She called her ex-husband first. For... Also, don't videotape yourself doing stupid things. Thank yeah. You. That's like or, or how one. about just unzipping the suitcase when someone's begging for their life? And show them the door that, if you don't that, like you should them. should do. Yeah, it was it was obviously there were problems. They had a history. These two It was a toxic relationship It was also a relationship where I think they both enjoyed To be under the influence. I don't see anybody Voluntarily getting into a suitcase. How does he get in? Is that a big it's, issue? It, it, yes, because that's the thing I don't see her wrestling an adult male into a suitcase. What if it's a goof like hey Let's see if I can fit in there. That's the much better question or what if it's something that we're doing for some other reason or if there's something there's an explanation. How important is, but is, she is, gets is it for the jury to understand how the circumstances under which he got in the suitcase? It's just a piece. It's just, just a, a piece. one piece. So is intent. I mean, I know the word intent gets used in a hundred different ways, but did she intend for him to die? You know, I understand this transfer intent. She, she could have, her not letting him out equals intent. But, you know, there's intent. Well, her taunting intent. him, I there's mean. There's intent with 13 stab wounds to your mother, and then there's intent by playing a joke and saying, ah, he's saying he can't breathe. There's intent calling the husband first and not calling, or the ex-husband, excuse me, and not is calling 911. There's a lot of smelliness to this case. Is there any work. mitigation that she was under the influence? Does that help her at all? I, like I said, good luck. I don't think there's any on the here. jury. Yeah, right? you people voluntary on the jury. intoxication is not traditionally a very good no. defense. Not legally, but you have people on the jury that are going to say, you know, I could see maybe being in that position, right? Somebody, somebody on the jury has done some stupid stuff. This right. one rises and that's, up to pretty stupid. Well, yeah, and Friday. that's where the vagarity is, is you never know which juror is going to connect with some part of that case and go, man, y'all ain't going to believe this, but there was this one time. <laughs> Next thing you know, the jury's like, man, makes sense. All right, we shall see Friday back in court.